John McKegg with JesusChristTrust.net, the only church that has a lineage to a living saint. The only one, right? I, I am the living saint, that's right. So, refute that at your peril. <laughs> okay, uh, debt clock, right? The debt hoax. Let's see. This is a story we're given, right? The United States is a government. It's elected, and it's our government. Okay, so what's a government? Let's think about that for a minute. It's a small group out of the whole population of a certain land area, right? This is a story. This is a story. It makes no sense, does it? It makes no sense because it doesn't match reality. But this is the story, okay? We elect, right... <laughs> First of all, let's go to the elect part. I mean, unless you're a trustee of the In God We Trust, your vote isn't counted. Yeah, you can go ahead and vote. Go ahead. Vote. They're not counting him. <laughs> They're not counting your vote. There's no evidence that votes are counted. How can I prove that irrefutably? Okay. If you get pulled over from the police and you have a small amount of marijuana on you, you get arrested, right? <laughs> Pretty much everywhere, except for some places it's legal now. But some places it's legal, if you don't have the proper, you know, stickers on your weed or stuff, they're, they're going to arrest you. That's right, you didn't, you didn't pay for the uh, licensed weed, so you go to jail. Anyway, that's their thing, right? So, what happens the next day? Your image of, you know, your, oh, this, your arrest photograph that they took is immediately pumped out to the internet. And it gets a lot of traction. It's like they put a million dollars behind that image, right? Make it like number one on Google. It's unbelievable how much energy is put behind, uh, you know, news stories that involve someone's photo getting taken out of jail because of some substance, you know, that the government decided is illegal, right? Now, you're you're just blasted everywhere. Oh, my God. Look, look at all this horrible stuff. If you just write the news of anything, you just search the news, and it's constantly arrest, 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 arrested, 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 arrested. It never ends, right? It's just nonstop who's arrested. So they don't care about your privacy. Am I right about that? They don't care about your privacy, period. They don't care about your privacy. That proves that, okay? So when they say... You know, every, let's just go, every slave has a person, right? Every slave has this corporate fiction, the straw man, the person, right? All capital letter name, nine digit number. It's not you, of course, but, um, so they have a method to track finances and anything. Oh, that's you. <laughs> no, I'm not a corporation. But, see, they have this thing going on where they can track everything, right? Oh, we arrested da 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 right? So, since they don't care a whit about privacy, they absolutely do not, and that arrests prove it, right? So, why wouldn't, when you cast a vote, there would be a place where you can look up on them, oh, there's my vote, and that's tabulated against all my neighbor's votes, there's their neighbor, there's my neighbor's votes, and all that. Like, why wouldn't they put that up? I don't understand. I mean, your privacy is meaningless to them. So, to ensure... That, you know, this was a legal, actual election. You would see who voted for what, right? right? Otherwise, <clears throat> it's a hoax. Right? They just pick whoever they want. I mean, how in the world could that... I, I'm trying to remember the current na the president of the... You know, but how... I'm, I'm not pro-Trump. I just mean people lost their minds for Trump. Oh, Trump, Trump. You know what I mean? Like... And they gave away the PPP and the EIDL money. They just, hey, here's helicopter money. Who wouldn't vote for helicopter money? Give me a break, right? Everybody who voted, voted for helicopter money. And then they go, uh, we didn't elect Trump. We elected, I don't even know, right? Some dude. I don't I don't even know who it is. So, right? Oh, we elected some dude. Like, you elected some dude 
other than the helicopter money, dude? How is that possible, right? Is that a joke or what? You know what I mean? Like, no one voted for, what, what's his name? So, or what's her name? I don't even know. Somebody, right? But, come on. So, obviously, they don't care about your privacy. Obviously, that it, you know, they don't care about that. But the, let's go back to the story now. Hang with me. The story is you vote and you elect a small group of people to do what? Manage a population and a landmass combined, right? Everything to do with that land area you have 100% total control of as a government, right? Total control, 100%. We're giving over our control as a population to a smaller group of people because what? Here's the concept. Here's the story, right? They'll manage the resources for everyone and do a good job. And then what? A good manager, say say you have someone managing a corporation. Oh, and, and you're the owner in it, right? You're the investor. You're the stockholder, whatever, right? You care. You're invested. And so however they manage that business, you're going to get a payout. You're going to get a cut, whatever, right? That's uh, capitalism right? That's capitalism. Choose a few managers over something and then they spit you back money and resources, right? That's, that's the American way. That's capitalism. So we choose a small group of people to run a corporation, the in guy we trust and manage the land mass, the United States. And what do we get in return? Nothing. We don't get any, we get debt. We get bills. We get nothing. Isn't that right? We get nothing. We have the worst managers who have ever been put in position, right? They should all be what? You know, removed. The entire system should be instantly removed because what? Not only, right? Not only are they not managing resource and kicking back to the owners, you and me, right? Of the landmass, right? The investors, the stockholders, the individuals on that landmass, right? You're managing it for us. That's the story. You're managing it for us. But what do they do? They manage it for themselves. They give everything to themselves or their cronies and what? Then they mortgage everything past the hilt, right? They mortgage. They sell everything. They sell the whole thing, everything, including the humans. They sell it all. To who? I mean, you know what I mean? What's this debt thing? How in the world could there be any debt? You're managing all the resources, supposed to be kicking back on us, and you're not kicking us back anything? It's zero? And you're running up a debt? How is that possible? You see what I'm saying? This is supposedly, oh, this great nation with all these resources and people and all this stuff, and I guess it's not because, look at this, we're, we're $31 trillion plus in debt. Not your the managers have not managed. <coughs> Can you imagine giving? Oh hey, I'll give you the whole U.S. All you have to do is manage it and kick back a cut to the population. Can you do that? Oh yeah, sure. What the whole thing? You're giving it all to me? Yeah, sure. We'll give it all to you, and then you manage it, and you know, you're the small small number of managers who get paid a. A small fee and then you know you manage it for everyone else and won't there won't that be great you'll serve others that's exactly what they have never done no country has ever done that that's the concept of what a country is and yet and yet they never do it now if you're a country okay and god we trust oh hey we're a country we're america and you, one of the things that you as manager, because you do everything, your government, you do everything. Let's make up money. Oh, hey, let's make, let's use money. Okay, you're using money. All right, that's your decision. You're going to use money. So you, you, this country, in this case, oh, America has dollars. Okay, so every year, if you're the government and you have to pay bills, you. You can print dollars, right? You can print dollars. Okay, so you would just go, okay, well, what percentage, right, of the current dollars will we be printing every year to pay for the government? It's like you could just choose an amount. You know, the population, can, oh, you could have 1%, 2%, something like that. It's a fixed amount. 
and you stay in that budget, right? You're, you're devaluing all currency should you print more currency. But that's fine. You're the government. You work for us, right? All the landmass is ours. We're the people there. All the resources is ours. You kick back to us. This is an investment, right? Making more dollars is an investment because we get kicked back so many dollars, right? But now, why would they not just store up some of their good management dollars and pay their bills? Do you follow me? Like, you wouldn't want to in incur bills past what you have money to spend. I mean, you're managing a whole nation, right? Just coal. Uh, you know, we're selling coal and, we, you know, we sold a billion pounds of coal last year. We got X billion dollars. I mean, pay your bills with that. You follow me? It's your country. It's your coal, you know? Or whatever, any resource, just anything, you name it. You see, water, uh, electric, anything, right? You, uh, you know, you, you made a certain amount of money on it, so you can pay your bills, okay? But, no, you could, why do you need debt? I, I'm lost here. See, this is slavery, debt, this whole national debt thing, it's slavery, right? Because the government is supposed to get some money back from the resources, right? Pay its bills, and then what? All the rest of the money it gets is like, oh, here's your check, everyone. You know, there's this many million people in the U.S., and it's even you get your check. You know, here's your money. Or, now really, why are we paying for housing? Why are we paying for electric? Why are we paying for any of that? Because they create it. Right? And most of the housing was here free from God, so why are we paying for it? It doesn't make any sense. Why are we paying bankers for it? It doesn't make any sense. part of this landmass. You're the small group of managers. Why would you even have any debt at all? It, debt would be illegal for a government that ran all, all the resources. Wouldn't it be illegal? I mean, you just are simply printing dollars. Now, how can debt happen? Help me out with this. Can anyone answer this? Because I don't understand this, okay? I just simply don't understand. You're the government. You're the small group, group of managers. You can literally print dollars, okay, to pay your bills. No problem. So where's the debt part? Who is it? Who is who is the country? Who am I? Who are these? Who are these managers? How have they indebted us in any way? How is that possible? They run the entire United States and they didn't make any money. They lost money. And over the time that they've run this government, right, from 1969, they lost $31 trillion? How can they still be the managers? How can they still be in place? Because they have a 100%, 100% craven population right craven means cowards 100 percent of the humans in america 100 percent cowards 100 percent. that's how they can do it sheep right is tell them what to do and they do it and that's it and they don't have a brain in their head an american i mean they just go along with this national they go along with everything nothing makes sense here of this government the most horrible managers, right? We're the most indebted country. We got all the resources, and yet we got the most debt. We got the most resources and the most debt. So we have the worst managers, the worst government, the worst, by far the worst. And they're spending all their money on what? On military. They're spending all on the military. In case they got to turn the guns on your ass, in case you don't go along with this on anymore, right? Oh, you don't go along with being a slave to the bankers? Well, we're the managers of the U.S. We say you have to be a slave to the bankers. In fact, we're putting banks everywhere. If you want anything, you got to go get money from them. It's like, what are you talking about? You print dollars. You print them. You have the housing, all the infrastructure, all the cities. You got it all for free the whole place was free to them the managers here 100 percent free all made by god it popped into existence they're the managers how could they possibly be indebted it's impossible do you see this 
is legalized slavery by programming humans to be perfect slaves. That's all it is. And they're great at it. Because no one, even if someone were to figure this out, everyone is too cowardly to do anything about it. I've shown the method how to get... This is, this is a turf war. These managers say they own every piece of real estate and every human. They say, that's, it's our place. In fact, every currency is tied to the dollar, so really they control every single speck of a landmass and everything living on it. Every human. You see, that's what they say. Is a single human going to set themselves free? I mean... I've done every single thing to set that a human can do to set themselves free, including the free home. I've done that. And in fact, I came away from it. But now someone else has to do that and post it publicly. Uh, you know, and that's how the turf war, that's how the game, that's how there's new managers in here. And who are the new managers? You and me. <laughs> how, how could anything get worse right 32 trillion in debt to who <laughs> who who is that i mean my god where's my check every year where's my free housing where's my electric how come anybody's paying for anything up in here how come that's poor management of a landmass with such resources why is anyone paying for anything everything popped into here there are plenty of houses and plenty of roads plenty of wires for electricity plenty of everything plenty of Food growing on the land, plenty of everything for everyone. What happened? The evil, greedy creatures, the fallen angels, they're in charge. And this is the way they run a population. Okay? And you are accepting it. So you've accepted it. So you gotta live with it. Right? And what what do you what happens after this? You accepted it, so what? You go to hell. Got <laughs> we, we, me, 33, the devil runs your ass and everyone, right? And is accepting all comers into hell. And what, you deserve it. Everyone deserves it. No one's doing anything about this. Millions of homeless people because the bankers want more. They just want more. They want everything. They have all the landmass and all the humans and... They want more. They want you to have less. It's like I don't have anything. All I have is bills. I don't have a single anything. And you just want me to pay you more. Every single year of the 64-year time loop, they're adding more dollars, right, to the money supply. That means everybody has to work until they drop or they have nothing, right? Because in 10 years, a house is going to cost twice as much, 100% more. Every 10 years, a house is like, it doubles. Every 10 years, doubles, 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 doubles. How can you keep up with that? It, you can't save enough from 10 years ago. Oh, I retired. Yeah. How? How did you retire? That's impossible. You, the only one way to retire, that's to sell your soul. Period. Sell your soul to the devil, your finances are fine. Don't sell your soul, soul to the devil, and your finances are not fine. Period. So... That's why this is a turf war. That's why whoever gets a free home and posts publicly at, and gives a location and all that, that becomes the nexus, the center point for the war. That will become ground zero. And I'm just letting you know, in all likelihood, that will not be you doing that. Okay, because I already know who that is. And I'm going to film her place this week. So your chance to get out of this dome and become a saint, <laughs> down to days, baby. What, oh, you're going to repeat it? That gets you out of here? Maybe. Maybe. You, you might go to heaven. You might reincarnate. <laughs> but, you know, whoever does this first, as I've said, I'm not coming back. This is the last thing to do. I've done every other thing in here to do. Right? I've exposed every truth. I've shown who runs, I've shown, you know, everything. Uh, there's nothing really left to be exposed except that real estate can be taken with the name Jesus Christ. Watch my other video on that. <clears throat> I have other videos. Uh, recent one, the free home notice went up.
watch that video. Now, I mean, how you people are like, oh, we're not in the sixty-four year time loop. Are you? You're an idiot. Okay, if you think if you even think that for one second, you're a moron. How can the math work out? <coughs> Every ten years, oh, okay, a house is worth a million dollars now. In a decent part of town, right? It's a million dollar house. So where am I going to get $2 million 10 years from now? How are you going to work and pay all your bills, which are astronomical? And yet everyone's got a mortgage. No, it's cool. Every, what, everyone's a super rich doctor with no student loans? Like everyone in the population? No. Everyone sold their souls. Literally. On purpose. Everyone. All your neighbors. All of them that have a house. They all did that. On purpose. Okay, there are a few exceptions. Maybe, maybe. Not worth noting, right? If you got a, if you're in a million dollar plus house, what's your job? Where'd you get the money? Come on, are you saying this entire population in the United States that you're either? Because let's just face it, pretty much that you're one of two things, right? Here, poor and or homeless or rich, right? And have everything. That's it. That's the American population. It only happens in one way. You either sell your soul to the devil or you don't. And those are the outcomes. There's nothing else. There will never be anything else until this free home is, is taken. You see what I'm saying? That situation is over. And guess what? You know, it's going to be over soon. So, just letting you know. Uh, your, your, your choices are limited. Anyway, this is about the debt hoax. So, I mean, can you imagine that you print dollars and say, oh, no, 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 we had to borrow money. It's like, from who? <laughs> they didn't even tell you that. What, I mean, you know, you're the managers. U.S. national debt is blah. To whom? You for the, could you, it's, could we see the bill? Who do you owe this money to? You see? And who are the trustees of the Ngawi Trust? Who are the ones that own this land and the humans? Who owns them? With a corporation, the Ngawi Trust. Who are the trustees? Who? Where's that information? You see, that's what's running this. Everything is hidden. Everything is a lie. Every single thing you were told in school is a lie. Everything's a lie. And what are you doing about it? You see, because come Judgment Day, in 10 years, what you did about it, that's all that's going to matter. Because this time loop is never going to change. Not ever. It's always going to be the same. So it's like, oh, what did you do? You know, it's going to be... Can you imagine being through billions of the same exact 64-year time loop and how easy it is to figure out who's, like, doing good and who's doing bad? I mean, come on. Nothing ever changes, not one thing ever. It's so easy to pick out, oh, you go to hell, you go to heaven. I mean, a child could do it. What did you do? Show me proof. Oh, well, <laughs> off to hell. Everybody, just go over to the hell line, really, everybody. Just everyone over there. And if there's someone that thinks, you know, they belong over in this line, why don't you come over here, you know? And really, you're gonna get the lowest pit of hell if you're not if you're in the good line and you're supposed to be in the bad line. If you're supposed to be in the line going to hell and you came over to this line, you're going to the bottom, right? That creature over there is taking you to the bottom. So only get in this line coming to heaven, coming to God, right? If it really you think you got a shot, because if you don't, you're you're getting the worst, right? Oh no, I'm going to heaven. Oh, you are. Oh, you're a saint. Look at that idiot said he was a saint and he wasn't. Lowest pit of hell, right? The lowest. That would be my outcome. That's what I risk every day by coming out with the truth that no one else knows. Literally, I mean, this death thing is pretty, you know, obvious and stuff, but so many things that I've talked about in this video and other videos, absolutely no one has broken, come up with, seen nothing. Zero. Right? Name a living saint. Name one. In any country, anywhere, this has exposed anything. Please. I have looked and looked and looked. I can't find one. I finally, like, no, I'll be the, I'll be the, you know, put me out in front. 
Make me the tip of your spear, God, right? I'll be out in front. I'm a saint. Come at me. Who's next, right? That's what I'm like. No, I'm the bullseye. Let's go. Anyone. I dare anyone, right? I dare anyone. First of all, I dare anyone with a gun to try and raise it on me and kill me. First of all, I don't want to be here under the stupid dome helping anyone. I don't want to be here. I already met with God. I'm like, I have to go back in there. He's like, yeah, you have you have to help him. I'm not doing because I want to. He said it's the only way back home. I have to help you. I'm not doing it because I want I mean, no one listens to the most obvious basic facts and acts on them. Free home. Oh, what's the penalty? Like, you know, third degree trespassing. Um, you know, you get a small financial fine. Worst case. Worst case scenario. Worst case. Has anyone done it? No. <laughs> oh, my God. I just a craven, right? Craven to the core. Every single human can't step out of line, is not programmed to do it, cannot do it. Can't. Cannot do it. How is that possible? Right? Oh, you're, hey, you owe 32 trillion. That's what your managers say. Hey, you, you're part of the U.S. population. You, I signed you up for 32 trillion. That's what you owe. What? So I'm not getting a check. I'm getting a bill for 32 million. That's your manager. I mean, how are these managers breathing air? What's wrong with this population? How come I'm like alone saying this and doing everything I do for a decade? How come? Why do you take it? I don't get it. I, I complain to God every day. I mean, what am I still doing here? Right? I can't do the final thing and take the free home. I mean, what am I doing here? It's like, hey, that idiot's up in the box is stuck here, just like us. Why? What What could there be left to do? I don't know. This is such a joke. They are powerless. Can't raise again on you. Can't touch you. You sign the trust, that's it. You dominate this place. Totally. Do you take those actions? No. Oh, we got debt. Anyway, the debt hoax. Every single thing... That the government comes, oh, guess what, blah, 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 hoax. Oh, guess what, blah, 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 NASA, we didn't win in space, hoax. How many billions a year are we paying them, right, for that lie? Okay, hoax, lie. Uh, you know, oh, the Smithsonian. Oh, all that crap you say is old that popped in here in 1960. We're paying you, right? Why? Why? What is, all this has no meaning, all this stuff. It should be... These things have roofs on them. People are outside, and you're okay with people being homeless? That's a government. you got museums, right? No one lives in them. <laughs> They're giant buildings you own, and people got to sleep on the street? No more management. No more management for you. No more management. You're out. That's what I say. If, if elections were real, and I, I'd, I'd run for president, and guess what? First thing... Banking is illegal. <laughs> That's a, banking is illegal. If you, are, you know, at lending anything is illegal. Money, lending anything is legal. Give or don't give. That'd be my first law. Lending is illegal, right? If you have something, give it to someone or don't. It's up to you. But you cannot expect anything back in return. Period. That's it. That'd be my first law. That's right. All right, debt at bankers, and really, the second thing is, oh, anyone caught lending anything, right? Anyone caught banking, exterminate, ex instant extermination. Oh, yeah, you were judged to uh, be banking. Okay, well, on the 6 o'clock news, you'll be beheaded. <laughs> that's it. Everybody watch. That's what a bank, that's what happens if you're a banker. I'd train everyone like that. Oh, you got caught banking. You're dead. <laughs> On national TV. Watch the 6 o'clock news and see the bankers beheaded. That would be what I would do as president. Right? And then be like, oh, okay. You did what? <laughs> right? You lent. Oh, well. <laughs> That's going to... Off with their head. <laughs> That'd be it. What problems would be left? Nothing. Because what would happen? Uh, well, I have $100. I can pay you $100 for a house, right? 
<laughs> After banking is made illegal, I make, you know, money illegal. So, but yeah, let's see who's who's going to lend. Huh? And the government should be managing the resources. So, okay, everybody, here's homes and where do you feel like living and, you know, how do you serve other people? Oh, you're helpful. Oh, you should have a nice home for that. That's nice. You're you're very dedicated to helping others. Okay, li live in a house so you know, this tier in this place, whatever. And, you know, people that just aren't into helping other people, they could live in Philadelphia. You know what I mean? <laughs> just the most horrible places, right? Go up north. Uh, everybody that's cool and helping people, come on down to Florida. You know, the nicest place. There you go. But really, how can everyone put up with this joke? The U.S. debt. My God, where are the pitchforks? Where, you know what I mean? Where, 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 where <laughs> like, Frankenstein is in the castle, right? Light the torches, grab your pitchforks, everybody down there, right? Let's get rid of Frankenstein. Oh, let's remove, yeah, oh yeah, there used to be a bank there. What happened to it? Oh, burned it to the ground. We, remember that day, right? Jack got elected, and he's like, every bank burns to the ground today. Everyone is legal to burn any bank in your community, okay? The firemen will come by and make sure it's safe, okay? And then, don't worry, we're going to have a cleanup. That ba No bank will have ever been there. We'll make it a perfect, you know, uh, green space or whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll make it into free housing. You know what I mean? Like, maybe we won't burn it down. We'll just say, who wants to live in a bank? <laughs> Here you go. Anyone homeless? Here you go. It's all free. It's, I mean, you know. It's, it, they make everything more expensive. It's like you have everything. How can you do this? And then we let money. I'm sorry. I could go on about this forever, right? But the only way that this will, this time cycle ends is either me or someone else does the free home thing, puts the information out in public, goes, hey, humans versus the bankers, right? Jesus versus the devil, that's the way it ends. Uh, I guess who loses every time? The devil. Come on. The devil's just playing a part, right? Okay, I love God, so I'll play this part for you, right? And I'll be the evil one and you be the good one. Okay. Right? But it's pre-planned. It's already figured out. The devil can't do anything to you that you don't want done to yourself. So... What can the devil do to me? Nothing. It made me an offer, and now it's time to the, take back the devil's kingdom and give it to those people in need. No more debt. Debt. Give me a break. Listen, the bank never signs a document. I didn't sign anything for going to debt for the national... I didn't do that. And even if I, even if I did, the bank wouldn't have, right? They're so clever. If there's no meaning of the mines as one of the elements of a contract, how could there be any debt? They didn't sign anything. There is no debt. There's no debt. It's a hoax. It's completely a wicked hoax. I mean, how can... At what age do you wake up and go, uh, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's all a hoax. It's all a lie. Debt, banking, all lending is a form of legalized slavery to we, the devil. That's it. They know it. <laughs> they know. How do you not know this? And how do you accept this? That's your challenge. How and why do you accept this? This is on you as an individual that you do not love your brothers and sisters enough. You know the truth, but you won't save them. That's on you. Where do you think you're going, heaven or hell? You have the information. You didn't act. Where are you going to go now that you know the truth? You shouldn't listen to this video then. It's on you.